Okay. All right. We're ready. Take we're live. We're in action. Oh, hi guys. I didn't know you guys were there. the title of this video. This video is us reacting to your assumptions about us. I went to Instagram and YouTube and asked you guys to say, tell us what you assume about us. And there were so many good ones, like so many. And I'm excited for us to shed some light on your assumptions about us. Mm -hmm. Are you guys going to jump to the blinds and eat the, all of the blinds? Oh yeah. And don't mind the noise, my dad is putting together the um, wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow thingy. Um, a shade underscore shade underscore 16 said, I'm not assuming anything, but I am curious about your religious and political beliefs about other races, LGBTQ plus things like that. And a bunch of people said, yeah, I'm interested. And I have answered this question so many times before, but I have firmly believe that who you love is your own business. People were created equally under one God and color, race, um, gender, um, you name it, we are all equal guys. We are all people, all people. We're all the same, all people. Ow! <laughs> who you love is your decision, not mine, and who am I to judge you, and all equal. We are all equal guys. HMS Equestrian, HMS Equestrian said, I assume that you guys don't trust yourself as much as you should. If you don't think something is right about people, if you don't think something is right, but people are telling you, you should go with your instinct. It's okay to get help, but you need to believe in yourself. Okay. Is it true? Do you trust yourself as much as... Not putting on polo wraps. Basically, do you trust yourself? Mm hmm Do you trust yourself? Not with polo wraps. Yeah, I don't trust myself. That is true. That is a true assumption. I don't trust myself as much as I, I want to trust myself because it's really hard. If somebody came up to me and said, you are terrible at tying your shoes. I'd be like, whatever. But then if 5,000 people came up to me and said, you are terrible at tying your shoes, I kind of like feel like maybe I'm terrible at tying my shoes. And even most of the stuff that people say are ridiculous, I do not trust myself completely and I need to get past that. Unicorn Slime 1789 says, um, I assume y'all have more animals than you are showing us. Well. Do we have more animals than we're showing them? Well, we have res- well, we get rescues, so... We have had more animals than we are showing right now, but this mama has amazing plans for Easter this year. That's all I'm gonna say, but we have amazing plans. No bunnies. No bunnies. No bunnies. No chickens. We are getting chickens, but that's not for Easter. I would settle for baby goats, but uh, one has to be a female. Okay. <laughs> this, this conversation turned bad, turned wrong like, completely. All I want to say is that there are going to be animals on this farm, and Easter is going to be extra cool. And it's my horse's, um, my horse and I's one year anniversary. Okay, guys, I lost the tooth last night. So... Olivia, Olivia Williamson says that I, I, I assume that, Dad, I assume that people really underestimate Sophia. Do you think people underestimate you? I don't know. Do you think people underestimate Sophia? I think, I think that we are a channel divided. We have Team Sophie. No, we have Team Gabby and we have Team Sophie. And I think that the people who love Sophie really support her and don't underestimate her. And the people that love Gabby may... Underestimate me. You think they underestimate you? Oh, that's so sad. I don't think that they do. I think that Gabby has a huge following of girls that are just like you. Um... I think that Gabby, Sophie gets a lot of mean comments because she's not riding Stella. And what people don't understand is that, would you want to ride Stella? Not in a while. No, not right now. But even if she did, her mom is not going to let her ride Stella. And this is the reason. <laughs> 
Stella is too advanced for Sophie and I at this moment. We are gonna be better. We're gonna grow. Like that spook that she did. Yeah, like that was actually really smooth though. <laughs> yeah, like she's getting smoother better than like anything that like smoother than trotting on the storm. Yeah, like basically. And I'm, she did not gallop off. She <laughs> is not allowed to ride Stella. That'd be like us putting her on, uh, racing a thoroughbred and saying, hey Sylvie, you've been riding for a few years. Go ahead on this horse. Like, we don't want her on there because the chance of her falling off again right now are really high because Stella is a fast moving horse that is ready to go and we're just not there yet and that's okay is that okay <laughs> not everybody understands that everybody's coming from a different perspective and um we should do i should do mounted games with stella i think she'd be really Everyone good quiet quiet cookie do you hear her little feet cookie come on she's like she's like i'm not pushing through Mom, Come cookie on, cookie. Found us. Abby Paulson says, I think you guys, one, haven't been riding for a long time. Is that a true I have assumption? been riding since eight or nine years. I've been riding since I was three, and I'm 11. So. She's almost 12. Okay, so here's almost where the 12. discrepancy, this is what I've never told people before, and this is maybe why there's such a discrepancy. The girls both started riding before they were four years old. Um, when they were little, riding only consisted, for the first few years, of riding in the spring and in the fall for 12 weeks each year. So for the first few years, they rode for 12 weeks each year. After that, they rode all year except for um, during the winter. There were a few weeks in the winter. Um, so it's not like they've been studying and, and riding strong and riding more than once a week their whole all these years. It's it's. They started when they were really young. And I've I, only really been riding for like one or two years. Yeah, we did not really start riding. Like really, really start progressing and challenging ourselves in, in riding um, for two years now, for almost two years. So before that, at our old barn, it was a totally different setup. They have been on a horse. They have been riding since before they were four. Um, just not consistently based on where we were riding and a bunch of other things. But I also want to point out that riding is an individual sport. Everybody pro progresses at different levels, at different uh, speeds, so completely individual that you cannot base how you think, how long you think somebody else has been riding based on your level because uh, there are so many factors. Sophie's scared right now. She could be jumping three feet maybe right now, but she's yeah. had a huge setback. It may be not three feet, but you want to be jumping three feet? No, but anyway, she's had a big, huge setback. And, and Storm can't jump right now. And Storm can't jump right now, really. And yeah, like, Even guys. Though he could do like trotting a mini cross rail like that tall and he over jumps it like three feet. Yeah, so, okay, so Aloha Briars 101 says, I assume you guys want to buy too many horses that you guys can. I assume that you guys want to buy too many horses that you guys can handle. Do you think we want to buy too many horses? No, I'm not horses? doing chores. Yeah, we are not. We have done so many chores in our life, you guys, and we do not want to take care of too many horses. Yeah, we don't want to take care of 15 horses. Yeah, no more 15 horses. How many just, horses? Just four. Yeah, maximum four horses. That is our limit. Four. We have two right now. We have two. We don't want to rush into it. We're taking our time getting Sophie a horse. We don't, if, and then mom will get a horse. Yeah, eventually. I don't know what's going to happen. We have or I'll get four, another horse. And that's it. No more than four. Um. So Lauren Miller, this one's for you, Gabby. She assumes that you're super opinionated. What? She thinks that you're super opinion. You have very strong opinions. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bang on assumption. <laughs> she is. And you know what? God makes you the way that you need to be for the life that you're meant to lead. And she has lots of opinions. But you know what? Uh, she doesn't do it. She does not have opinions about other people um, making choices for themselves. She has opinions about her life and her wants. Can I do one? Um, sure. Okay, just like equestrian clum... And I cut it off. Whenever I save the comment, it cuts it off sometimes. Equestrian Clum, Clum, I'll put it down here so you guys can see it. But anyway, as she says, I assume you guys aren't that horse experienced. We are, are they? We what? 
Are we super horse experienced? Do we know what we're medium, doing? Medium, medium, medium. We don't know how to, well, I kind of know how to put on polo wraps, but they have to be a certain way or else your horse could get injured. She's afraid of polo wraps, you guys. No, not. Oh, well, she does not. We don't know how to do polo wraps. There's a and lot of things. We there. have so many polo wraps. Yeah, we have so many. Like, <laughs> if we could use them, it would be great. So if somebody I has have a cherry red ones that can match my Okay, so I don't know how this happened, but... Yeah, we don't know everything. We are this we are this far from knowing everything. No, this far. No, this far. This far. But this far. it's a journey, you guys, and we're gonna get there. We're new to horses, to owning horses. We've owned a horse for less than a year. Um and yeah, we, we are. That's a that's a true assumption. A Chase says, I assume some people judge your decision to homeschool, Gabby and Sophie. Do you think people judge our opinion our choice? At the barn, yes. Do you think so? Not Kaylee. Or... I've never really felt judged at our barn from homeschooling. Okay. Um, do you feel like people judge it? Yeah, I feel like people really don't care if we homeschool. I, I think it's becoming such a common thing nowadays that people don't don't judge that much. I've had a few comments and stuff, but I don't. I don't. I think there's so much other stuff for people to judge us for that they don't even care about the homeschool. Do you think? Do you guys think that too? Yeah. Mallory C. Get right in there. says, I assume that Sophie will have times of confidence. confidence this year. I love you guys. Yes. Yes. It is happening already. I think this year's. We're been... showing. I'm doing a lot of shows and I'm showing Stella because I'm going to get Stella back into showing. Kaylee and I. We'll show Stella. I think Kaylee and Gabby are the perfect so, people to show Stella. Um, and I will be showing Storm. Yeah, and I think that the confidence has already happened, and I predict that too. I, I assume that too. Thanks, Mallory, because I think now that she can start handling poles and jumping. No, all she has to do is do it in a neck rope. That's no. such a good assumption. Okay, so Jess Davis says. I assume Sophie doesn't like horses for riding. She just likes them for pets. I love horses. For riding? Do you love riding? Do you want to stop riding? Being scared, does that make you does it does that mean that you shouldn't that you don't deserve a horse? Does it mean that you just have something to work on and, and get stronger in? Yeah. She you guys don't know how much strength it takes to climb on a horse and be bawling your eyes out and then just get on with that lesson and then end the it's lesson. The storm is a god. Yeah, storm is a god for beginners. Like he, he has a god. Yes. She I'm a not, beginner, even though he's, like intermediate ish beginner. Even I'm though more he's, than that. even though he's slow, he's good. Yeah, like the minute, I, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the second that she climbs on Storm, Storm's like, whoa, let's slow it down for this girl. It might be the tears. <laughs> <laughs> and I make him go fast. Okay, here's one up for me. Jasmine Sherlaw says that I assume Laura and Sam are pushovers. And by pushovers, if you mean that we are a sucker for tears or we are a sucker for making our kids happy, we are a pushovers. Um... Sometimes I think a lot of people actually do assume that we are pushovers. Some people might not know that I am a strong, a strong, a strong woman. And people do say stuff to us in real life and in the comment section. And um, I just want to say don't mistake kindness as being a pushover. Because when push comes to shove, um, yeah, I, 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 I only take so much, and then, and then I'm not a pushover anymore. But if it, you're referring it to making our kids happy, then definitely. Okay, this one's all about Gabby. Haley Horse Lover says, I assume that Gabby has the most confidence with riding. No offense, Sophie and Laura. I also assume that you guys are all rich because you spend so much money. We're not so rich. All right, so Gabby, you answer the first part of that. She assumes that you are the most confident rider in our family. Yes. Do you Definitely. agree? Definitely. <laughs> confident. Like she's No, we're both. Yeah. Gabby is maybe the more skilled in that she can ride more horses than Sophie and I. So Sophie and I are still In the riding. way, yes, I do have more confidence. Yeah, in a way she does have more confidence. Would you say that? That she can ride different horses whereas we still need like beginner safe horses? Yeah. Absolutely. She also assumes that we are rich and we are not rich, not even close. 
know how many we're going for. Okay, so this is a really one that does come up sometimes in, in our comments, and it's from Aloha underscore Briar, and she says, I assume you guys blame things on the horses whenever something bad happens, but really it's the Briar's fault. And I know that people assume that this often, and but I don't... know Mom says in every vlog, she's like, oh, I can't watch me fall, it's my fault. Yeah. And she's like, it's my fault because I squeezed the horse, and our coach yeah. says, well, it's your fault. And I never know if it's because of things that we're joking about in the video that make people think that. I don't know if it's people's interpretation of us when they say that, but I, uh, we know that 99% of the time mistakes are right or error obviously there's no other way and I've said a million times when I fell it was my fault and when I say Stella is a fast horse, Stella is a responsive horse, I'm not blaming her in any way, She's shape, or form. She's more responsive than Storm. You could smack him with the whip or you could just go like go and kick him and he will yeah, only he go the, one yeah. step. Which and is great. You kick Stella. If you kick Stella, then you Stella, better be you're ready gone. for a ride. That's right, and that doesn't make that, and that's not me saying it's her fault or there's something wrong with her. I'm She's saying that that's who she horse. is. Yeah. So no, that is a wrong assumption, and a lot of you, not a lot, but some people do assume that. I don't know why. I wish I understood why. I, I don't know why they assume that, because that's not how I feel. That's not how we raise our kids to feel. So this is a really good one for Sophie. Sophie, mystery book. I assume that Sophia is Gabby. getting jealous that Gabby has the perfect horse for her, but Stella just isn't Oops. isn't the perfect fit as they are not on the on the same level. So, what do you think about that? I want Storm, but I'm not jealous. This way. Are you jealous of Gabby that she has the perfect horse? No. Do you want Storm? Yeah. He's a good horse. He is a good <laughs> horse. Um, My horse needs to be more for <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, uh, Gabby loves Storm. He's good for hunters, though. Like, yeah. He's he, a hunter. I'm a jumper. Yeah. She is getting to the stage where she wants to be, do more, experience more. You guys have seen that with her riding Stella. There was a time when she... Um, I wouldn't even ride Stella. She wouldn't even climb on Stella. There was a time that if Stella um, did uh, one thing that scared Gabby, Gabby would have been off her in a second. And now Gabby's sitting spooks and bolts and um, showing Stella and, and guiding Stella. And it's amazing to me. But um, I can't believe you want Storm. Barely sitting summer. spooks. Just, this is how. Place I your hands on their neck, them. but not hold on to really? any mane and squeeze with your thighs and stay in two point while she spooks. Are you are you sad that you have Stella? No. Do you love Stella? Do you want to ride her again one day? Yeah, when we're there. But not soon. Once Stella moves here, I'm going to be like riding her every day. Not in a week because yeah, Stella we are. Every day. So yeah, no, we are letting Stella settle in. Stella is a horse for that a needs whole, to settle in for a whole yeah. week, and then at I, the end of the week, I'll do light work, and yeah. then. We'll like, we that. will be doing a lot of the spooking, desensitizing with Stella. We're going to take her. Well, she's all going to... And then oh. that's how we're going to do shows. <laughs> yeah, like, um, okay. Kayla's going to come okay. over and we can ride Stella. Okay, so, Taya Weaver says that I assume that you guys think you need the best of everything when it comes to your horses, yet you don't take the time to give the troubles time to work out and fix the problems your horses have. Well, Power Factor couldn't come one week. So now I can't jump Storm till she comes. So are you taking time to let things happen so that are your horse is in better shape and yeah. more comfortable? Um, I uh, Stella's good. <laughs> um, first of all, I do not think we need the best of everything. The girls do have a couple of brands that they love and mm -hmm. that's okay. But some of you guys don't realize that we don't even have that much stuff. Like we're gonna have a farm soon and have our horses here and the amount of stuff that we have for our horses is gonna fit in like this big of a spot in our barn because we really don't have a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, she sent a picture of all our things to our coach and she's like, oh my God. Yeah, like we have like, we, we have like only like a couple buckets of things. Yeah. Like, two buckets of things. Coffee. It's not obvious to you that we take our horses seriously, their comfort and their well-being, um, then you obviously are misreading us. 
Um, just because we do things differently and then you might do them does not mean that we're doing um, things completely wrong. Wrong. Everybody, oh, everybody does things their own way and we are doing the best for our horses to the best of our ability. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.